and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a moving gradient in text. So it's a little bit different than the last gradient text effect that I've shown you. We first create a black video, so right click new item in your projects menu. Just pick the size over here, I'll use 90, 20 times 1080 and then put it into your timeline. Afterwards, we'll need a gradient effect. There are lots, just pick this one for color gradient, drag and drop it on the black video file. And now we've got it right here in effect controls. If you can't see these menus, go to window, effect controls, and there's also the effects menu. We've got these four points and they all have different colors and positions. So point one right here is yellow on the color one and has the position on top for left, right, and up, down. Let us just keep the default for now. And we can change the color, for example, right here. Let me use this one as a start. And I'll change it for the second one. And I'll make it a bit lighter. Now I'll go a little bit darker. And once more for the fourth one. I'll have it darker as well. Or right, maybe that was a little bit too much. Let me adjust that. And that's fine. For now it's all static because we haven't adjusted the position. So let us click on this clock icon for each point and color. And at the starting position we move forward, let's say two seconds. And now we we'll create keyframes once again for each point and each color, so eight times. And now we can adjust the point right here. So we are on our second keyframe. We can do it numerically. I'll just left click and drag in the preview window. And we can see the path. So the origin point and the end point for the second keyframe. You can also click on these points and adjust it. And now our gradient moves just like this, but we haven't adjusted the color yet. So let us jump to our second keyframe right here. I will pick a different color in our color swatches for each one. So let me make one yellow and you can see it moving way better. Now we only have to adjust the color for each. Let us just use a bluish color. So let me press Ctrl Z here. I'll do it for the yellow one. And now I'll change these color swatches to something like this. And now not only the position moves, but also the color. If you want to add more points of movement, just select these keyframes, Ctrl C to copy and then go forward, Ctrl V to paste. Let me go to the end position. And now it moves and changes the color for the entire duration of this element. Now we only need some text, so let us use the type tool. Make sure you've got nothing selected in the timeline and then click on the preview window. I'll simply call that gradient and I'll size it up using the cursor tool. Let me go to the graphics layout. I click on edit. And here we can adjust the text. Use a different font, different style, align it, whatever you want to do here. I'm fine with this. So let me go back to the editing layout. For now, the text is just white on this moving gradient, but we want to put the gradient inside of the text, so we need a key. Let us use the track mat key and drag and drop it on the black video, so not the text, that's important. Here it is. Make sure you've got mat alpha selected, 
and from that you will have to choose the video channel where the text is on, so in this case it's V2, so video 2. And now the gradient is inside of the text and it moves in the direction that we have set previously. And that's how you can create this moving gradient effect in text in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.